Well, hey, church family, I want to give you a quick update. And many of you who are here on Sunday, you've already heard this news. I wanted to make sure we just got it to you this week so that you've got a clear expectation for Sunday. We have decided to put the vote off for a few weeks. I wish I could tell you when our church is going to come together for the secret ballot vote about the um, opportunity we have in front of us with the motion with our property. And we'll let you know that as quickly as, as we can. But right now we've put it off because there's some um, things we're having to still work through. The memorandum of understanding that we have talked about after getting all of your input, well, that has been drafted. Our leadership team has gone through it with a fine tooth comb, done what they need to do, and now it's in the hands of the city. And when all of those negotiations are complete, we're going to get that document, have some sessions that you as a church member can come with our team and learn about what all is in it. And after we do that together, then about a week after we're going to have the vote. So you'll have to pay attention in the next few weeks. I'll let you know when that vote is going to happen. You'll have plenty of weeks notice and ahead of time to know when it's going to be. But I just wanted to explain to you the why. That's why we're putting it off. We just want to make sure all of that is done correctly in an unrushed way so we'll be ready to really bring this decision before the Lord and have that vote that will follow. Um, and so just continue to pray about that. One other thing I'll tell you is I want to invite you on the night of the 30th after our conference concludes, I'm just going to have a prayer time for anyone that would like to stick around in our sanctuary and just really pray. Pray for this upcoming decision as a church family. Um, I anticipate that prayer time to last about an hour. I hope you'll join me for it. You've been so engaged with these small group meetings. Now it's time to pray. And I invite you to pray with me. So once you do that, that we'll come together on the night of July the 30th in our sanctuary and just spend some time going before the Father together and just praying for our church, praying for our community, and praying for this upcoming decision we'll have. I've been so thankful for all that you've done and how you've been engaged these last several weeks. And I look forward to what the future holds and all that we've got coming. Thank you.